What's up guys, how's everybody doing? I'm back at my Nana's and today I'm gonna show you how to make our Easter bread. What is it? Kutsupi. Kutsupi. We're gonna start off, we have a whole entire carton of eggs. This is all 12 eggs. We're gonna put them in here. Now you already warmed up eggs. the eggs, right? Like you don't want them to be freezing cold. When we you pick it up, in. we pick it up to less than eight. Yeah, you just let it sit yeah. for a while. We have a five, five pound bag of flour. We four have cups. four yeah. cups of sugar. We have a little bit of anise. Now do we just two use one of these? Two we use two packets of fresh yeast. Two spoon of the crisp. A one teaspoon. big spoon. One big one tablespoon. One big tablespoon of Crisco. We have just a, baking powder. Just I have, a little half a teaspoon. A little half a teaspoon of baking powder. And four pound, four later pound. on, what, like a full cup of milk? Four cup of milk. Yeah. Okay. So let's get started. Okay, see, so what's the first step? Put all the now eggs. Put them in the mix. Come on. Okay. Do the egg and we put the sugar. Alright. And the crisco. So okay. are you gonna like whip the eggs come together? On, come on, we'll we'll yeah. come we'll whip the egg. Let's go. So how long do you whip the eggs for? About uh, 10 minutes. So you're slowly adding in the sugar, little bits at a time. Mm -hmm. So over here, we're melting our tablespoon of vegetable shortening, and we're also heating up the milk. Melt the, the cake yeast. So you're putting the hot milk right on uh, the yeast. Very, like a, not very hot, you know. Just warmed up. Yeah, that's all. So now we add the milk in too. Yeah. Most of the milk. The milk's just warmed, right? Yeah, warm. Yeah. It's not hot. No hot towel. No hot towel. Warm. Put the uh, yeast. You see? Yep, baking powder, right? Okay. And then we do a teaspoon yeah. of anise. Anise. You can see? Okay. That's a. They're flat, huh? A pant, okay. So sometimes you need to add in just a little bit extra flour. Yeah, yeah, a little bit too. Yeah, like a, another another cup. Another pant, honey. Another cup, you know. That we can do hard or they come very heavy, you know? Right. So how long does it rest for? Two hours. Mm. 
Mr. Word message. Mm -hmm. Most of two are here, see? Okay. Okay, guys, it's been two hours. We let the dough rise. So now it's time we can start shaping it. We're gonna show you how to do that in a second. In the meantime, make sure you set your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We like a bread it, you know? Mm -hmm. So you start off with one long one? Yeah. You stretch like this, and then you cross like this. See? So as you guys can see, there's multiple different shapes you could do. We just did like a, a braided one. The first one we did was a heart with some eggs in it. What shape are we going to make? This we make a, like a little rose. This is like an easier, smaller one. Yeah, that's a small one. So you start off by rolling it out? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then we twist it like this. See? Oh, okay. You see? Just roll it all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. Okay. It does very soft. Yeah. So here we go. It's a little rose. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's good that the dough is soft, right? You don't yeah. want it to be they right, right soft. No, soft. they come yeah. heavy. You see the soft dough. Yeah. Make sure you put a little bit of flour down. Yeah, oh, they stick. You put it back over there, and it has to sit for another 15 minutes to rest. All right, you're gonna put a little egg wash over top of it be right before it goes in the oven. Yeah. Then, how long do you think we bake it for? for uh, 15. <laughs> The fish. <laughs> you know the fish? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See? We make a little one. See? Okay. No. Okay. You, you can make a small one. Alright, roll it just right yeah. here? Yeah. Two rounds. Roll it all you. Turn yeah. them too fast. No, how can you not also check? Alright, should I do the... You, you can do this. That's easy. The S one. The part channel. Oh, the Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I changed it to so fast. There we go, that's the rose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. And now you can roll. Yeah. There you See? go. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, make sure you flour your hands before yeah. this yeah. so it doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It stuck to my hands a little bit. I didn't put too much on. Okay. Here. Yeah. Bake. See? And we go like this. Then it's ready to go in the oven after? Yeah. Then they go straight in the oven. All right. Okay. You okay? All right, guys. So whenever you put it in the oven, have it at 400 to 425 based on your oven at oven, home. Oven, yeah. Because the oven they have upstairs, they'll set it to 425 because it's not as hot. But the oven down here, it's a newer oven and it gets hotter faster. So they only set it to 400. So just try it a few times at home and see which one works best. Mm -hmm. You start off for 10 minutes at the bottom at five and minutes. then five and a half minutes up top on the top rack. And then it's done. Yeah. Yeah. In two minutes, we put them up there. Up there. You know, mm -hmm. like, you know, they have to be, see, little red. Right. Hmm? See how they rise? And there was a little rose. See? Eh? 
bottom. We put them in a top for five minutes. Okay, and the four, see? You see how nice. All right. <laughs> See, they're good. Very good. Ready? Yeah. They're beautiful. This is another episode of Non Arena's Calabresa Kitchen. Thank you very much for watching today. Uh, hit that subscribe button and like down below, and I'll see you next time. That's it. Buena Pascua. Buena Pascua.